Welcome back dear students. In today's video, I am going to introduce a open source circuit simulation software namely QUCS. Before I introduce you to the this software, let us see what is a circuit simulation. Circuit simulation is a method to verify the behavior of an electric or electronic circuit or a system. Means using this particular software we can verify a behavior of a electric or electronic circuit or even a system. This method is used after the design of a circuit or a system and before the manufacturing of a physical circuit or system. This method is used to check the correctness of a design. So whatever the design say we are going to make, so whether that design is going to yield a expected result or not. Without using a physical components, without actually connecting the circuit or a system, we can check the result or a correctness of a design. A design can be tested say without using a physical component or a equipment. Say it uses a virtual components whose behavior is almost similar to that of a physical components. We cannot say that 100% the behavior will be similar, but it will be almost similar to that of a physical components. And very important thing is, it reduces the time and cost involved in manufacturing process. Thereby, the, thereby it reducing the total cost on the product. So, let us see some of the circuit simulators. There are plenty circuit simulators available, available today, which have different features and advantages. Some of them are listed below. The first one is QCS. NG Spice, LT Spice, GNU Cap, EZDA, Multisim, Proteus. There are many, there are say many more. So list is bigger, there is plenty of circuit simulator softwares available today. Some softwares are open source and some are proprietary. Variety of simulators have different varieties of features. Depending upon the need, our requirement and the feature, we can select a particular simulation software. As I am going to use only a open source software, that's the reason I have selected QUCS. If you are an open source follower, then this is a very good software for you to use. So what are QCS stands for? Quite Universal Circuit Simulator. It is an open source software developed under GPL, General Public License. It can be used to simulate analog and digital circuits. DC circuits, linear and non-linear DC analysis can be done. AC circuits, time domain and frequency domain analysis, digital circuits, VHDL and Verilog digital circuit simulation can be done and say any electric or electronic circuit or systems, okay, say including RF and microwave circuit simulation can be done using QUCS. So what I do in today's video, I am going to introduce you to this particular software and I will show you a simple DC circuit simulation. Whereas in coming videos, we are going to discuss AC circuits with time domain and also in frequency domain analysis. Today we, we are going to see a simulation of a DC circuit. In a network theory course, we have analyzed and solved many numerical problems where we obtained a many results and to verify whether those results are proper or not, whether we have solved proper or not, we can simulate that circuit in a simple, it will take a hardly, say not more than 5 minutes, we can simulate a circuit and see the result, okay. So towards that, if at all, say you want to learn, say at the basic of a simulation software, so this is a very uh, right approach. Uh, there is a problem, find node voltages shown below, shown, shown in below circuit using circuit simulation. So this is the circuit, dear students, and if we solve this circuit using one of the methods, such as a node or mesh analysis, we are going to get a V1, so that's a node voltage V1, 10 volts, V2, 4.9333 volts, and v, V3, so which is 12.667 volts. Dear students, these are the theoretical values. Whether, say, whatever we obtained these values are right or correct or not, to verify that, say, we'll go for a circuit simulation. We'll simulate this circuit. 
but dear students the very important purpose of a circuit simulation software is after designing any circuit before we go for a manufacturing it will be tested for a expected result if result the expect if obtained result is say similar to the expected result then only they will go for a manufacturing otherwise if at all say every time if i design and manufacture and if it fails in one or two features once again i need to design and manufacture that will be time consuming and also say more uh, cost will be involved in a manufacturing process so as to reduce the cost and save the time so we'll go for a simulating any circuits which will be designed say so after the design we'll simulate check for the result if the results are comparing with the expected results obtained results are comparing with the expected result then we'll go for a real manufacturing if they say so there will be a mismatch then our design will be changed once again it will be simulated right so let us see a qcs so first today i am going to introduce you that software dear students how to install this software will be given in a description of this video i kindly request you to read the description and install this particular software as i told this is open source it is supported both under linux and windows operating system but i am going to use a linux operating system that to ubuntu so right now i am using ubuntu 20.04 and this is a window of a qcs this particular is a working area this is a project tab so as like any other software or a so any other software you have got a say different tabs here a file tab to edit a create a file okay so this is a edit window say so this is positioning say so you will understand all these uh, tabs as on when we are going to study you just go through these tabs okay and here important is project tab say so if at all we are going to make a new project it will be available here okay so what i do say so, say so here already there is a new project i'll just delete it so that i can make a new project so even a many projects can be made here and this is a component window so where we have so many say different categories like lumped components we have resistors capacitors so many say all you can see passive devices if at all you want sources here you have a sources different categories of sources okay say so go through all these things say so as soon when we require i'm going to introduce you to these different types of devices and here one more tab very important tab is libraries if at all we want to simulate a given circuit with a particular type of a device say such as say for example i want to use a, a diode called in4007 i can directly select that particular diode whose behavior will be similar to that of a in4007 okay select so like that say we have a different types of devices bridges diodes then we have say jfets leds mosfets okay transistors so many varieties of uh, devices we have okay so first and foremost go to project new project okay so here it will ask for the project name so i'll write dc so a very simple dc simulation okay so very simple you project name say so click on create so as soon as you created this you can see here it's a say so new file is opened so this is a working area so where we need to create the circuit it is very simple to create the circuit so let us refer to the circuit we should simulate here say there is 4 ohm resistor 2 ohm resistor and 5 ampere current source first what i do i am going to take 4 ohm res resistors i will take 1 2 3 4 5 6 resistors i require so it is very simple dear students i will show you how to connect this circuit to simulate the circuit first we need to connect that circuit to connect the circuit go to components say so here you need to select lumped components in a lumped components because these are all passive components right now say to simulate our circuit we require resistor i'll click on resistor and say drag here if i click anywhere on this working area it will be placed like say for example directly i'll click here it will be placed and if i want to place it say right now it is horizontally if at all i want to rotate just right click it will be rotated if you right click it will be rotated right say here say for example say and say for example if at all i want to say click say place say anywhere I, you click it will be placed right say so if at all you want to deselect it just press escape it will be deselected and if you don't want to 
say retain any components or say particular component you just select that component and delete and if you want to delete a complete circuit or say components select all and delete okay see here i am going to take a resistor i'll rotate it and place one this is r1 okay so this is say for example r2 so this is r3 one more resistor and this is r4 and lastly this is r5 so i require a five resistors i have placed and say escape it will deselect i require a one current source for that purpose i'll go to a sources and here so I, as i require a dc current source i'll click on it and place here so one dc current source and i require a one dc voltage i'll place here so i'm going to place this as per the circuit and say one more uh, current source i require say here so i'll place a current source here and say another resistor is required say what i do so i'm going to select another resistor here right so now we need to connect these components or to connect these components we require a wire so here there is a wire okay you click on this now say as per the circuit you connect these components okay so you can observe a red circle here at the end of every device say you click on that and to connect to other device you click on say its red circle right and say here say click on this and here you need to connect okay so this is i am connecting as per the given circuit right so similar to this you connect remaining all now dear students i have connected a complete circuit i need to place a ground say here there is a ground the circuit is connected to ground but dear students the values are not all 50 ohm so the i need to change these values one important thing is that you can double click on any device say for example if you double click on a r1 so you will get all the properties of this particular device at what temperature the device will be exposed what should be the value of resistor everything you are going to get it here okay so if at all you want to change instead of 50 ohm to a 4 ohm say for example you type here 4 and apply okay so now this is 4 ohm so another method is you can directly click on this and say if you want some other value you just type and enter say so here this i want 2 ohm as per the given circuit and this once again 2 ohm and here it is 4 ohm and this one is 8 ohm okay and this is i1 say so this current is 5 ampere and v1 is it is 12 volts okay and this is there is a i2 so whose value is 3 ampere dear students it's been given as a milli ampere but we require ampere say so either you can delete milli here otherwise just double click and even same thing can be done here okay so this is ampere apply okay say so this is also i require ampere this whatever we have connected the circuit as per the given circuit say so if at all you want to say alter any of the devices uh, say for say you want to adjust you can just select it and move so that it will be say adjusted okay so even the whole circuit you can connect and place 
wherever you wish okay so once the circuit is connected so the next step is to go for the simulation so, so what we should do say so we should go to a simulation here there is a tab for simulation and because we'll go for only dc simulation i'll select this dc simulation and place it here say so, without this we cannot simulate say so, whatever the simulation you want to perform say so you are supposed to select that particular icon here and place on a working area right dear students so once the circuit is completed say so we can save it go to file and save otherwise press control s okay say so here i'll give a name as dc circuit 1 okay a simple dc circuit is there save right say so now say to calculate the currents and voltages just go to a simulation and click on calculate dc bias dear students here you can see it has calculated all the voltages no voltage so this is the 10 volts here the voltage here is 10 volts the voltage at point is at this point is 10 volts if at all you want to place say for example here i want to get a v1 i want to say name this as a v1 just double click on it and type a v1 say it will be named as a v1 means the voltage here is v1 say for example here click it as a v2 and here say for example it is v3 the voltage the node voltage here is v3 and similarly say for example if at all you you, you might be interested in finding a current somewhere okay so for that purpose what you can do is you can go to a probe so there is an option called probes say so take a current meter and say let me place here so that you can see the what's the current flowing through that and say once you add it save go to simulate and click on voltages here this is 10 volts v1 is 10 volts here and this is 4.933 volts v2 okay and this is v3 12.2667 so this is what we require so as per the say theoretical values this was v1 was 10 volts here we have 10 volts v2 was 4.933 volts and v3 12.2667 volts dear students here you can see a value of a current say it is minus 1.1333 ampere but important thing here is the actual current will flow in a opposite direction because of that it is showing minus say for example if i want to change the direction of this probe means a ammeter a current meter just click on it and rotate adjust it and once again go for calculate dc bias here you can see positive value for this so this volt means the voltage at this point is 10 volts the voltage at this point is 10 volts okay and the voltage across two ohm resistor is 4.933 here say this is 12 volts okay say so here the voltage means from this node to this v3 is 12.2667 volts okay and if we we can tabulate this say so to tabulate what we can do say so we can go for simulation and click on simulate okay say so here say uh, there are so many other graphs we can obtain say so here i will going to tabulate click on tab table and place it here you will obtain this and i want to get v1 v2 and v3 in a table okay just apply and click on okay so these are the values so v1 is 10 volts v2 is 4.93 volts and v3 is 12.3 volts i hope dear students this is clear to all of you you can practice considering any say simple dc circuits and see see that you can do a dc simulation so in coming videos i am going to discuss uh, say in actually in the next video i am going to discuss once again a dc circuit but using some dependent sources here i have not considered any dependent sources i am going to consider a dependent sources i'll show you simulation of one more dc circuit and later we'll go for a ac simulation hope this is clear to all of you if you have any doubts you can ask same thing in a comment section thank you thank you for watching